here's a big, big deal in Colossians 1, 16 and 17. Um, this is speaking about Jesus. It clearly is in the context. Uh, Kevin, give me those two verses because this is a big, big deal. Yeah. For by him all things were created, and that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. Those are giant claims for who Jesus is, right? It says, by him all things were created. They were created through him, and they were created for him. We could probably do an entire program just on that statement. That'd be pretty incredible. Yeah, it would. I mean, the Godhead works together in the act of creation. Um, You find them all present. You know, the Spirit is hovering over the waters of the deep. In the beginning, God created. But then... There's this sort of, I call it the hat trick of scriptures because there are three of them. Um, where am I getting that from, though? Oh, that's a hockey term. If you get three goals, <laughs> where it's a are hat you trick. From again? Yeah, yeah, Canadian. Exactly. Yeah. Um, in John 1, Colossians 1, and Hebrews 1, all three of those chapters identify Jesus very clearly as the creator. He's, wow. Yeah, he's not a created being, he is the creator. So when you hear that he's Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, first and the last, It's not just in a chronological sense, okay, Jesus was here before the rest of the human beings and he'll be here after the human beings. No, no, it's far more than that. When he's the first, he's the source. And he's the source of everything. He's the. It doesn't just say he created all things. It says in him all things consist, which means, look at this, I brought an orange pen. I just underlined that line in all him, all things consist. And orange doesn't work that well in these lights. It almost, it's like invisible ink. But, um, all right, in him all things consist. It's telling us that this morning I wouldn't have woken up if Jesus wasn't on mm-hmm. duty. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. right. The, the earth is spinning today because he's in charge. The, the planets are on their circuit around the sun. I mean, we know that gravity is why orbits work, um, but we're still mystified a little bit exactly as to how gravity might happen to work and how we unify all the forces in this universe that hold things together. Here, Colossians tells us Jesus is what holds all things together. 